Now, patients on admission at Sapeliga Clinic in Boko West escaped from their hospital beds at the site of clouds or wind. Eva Tiboka reports the only health facility serving 12 communities in Boko West has developed deep cracks and is terrifying to patients. From afar, this is the Sapeliga Clinic. But go close, and this is what you see of the structure, serving over 7,000 inhabitants in 12 communities. Walls are weak, roofs ripped off and leaking, liver blades missing, and officers on call and patients alike stay awake fighting mosquitoes. The river is no good. Rain was fun. The big rain came yesterday. Fun. The, oh, the room is very water. I just to take my daughter to hide. I can't go out to hide any place. I was suffering inside. The mosquitoes are also here, biting. The structure has developed deep cracks, and the slightest rain and wind could bring it down. The clinic has six laying beds, which are mostly empty because patients escape admission owing to the state of the structure. Danny Anabila is in charge. The cracks are everywhere, from the maternity block to the main facility. Everywhere is like this. When it is raining or even threatening to rain, all the patients that will get for that particular time, they all run away and leave us. That is not their only concern. Logistics are absent, hospital folders are simply not available, and A4 sheets are the option for taking down patients' medical records. Those who can afford are competing with school children for exercise books to use as folders. Daniel Anabila again explained the implications. These are some of our papers that the papers that we have used to improvise as uh, folders, which we are using. And this is very, very difficult. You will pick the paper and put it inside. But when the patient comes back to get it, and we'll find it difficult to trace the paper. Because a little wind can blow it away. Medicines and basic delivery items are a challenge. We don't have a sterilizing machine. So we use high level disinfection either by boiling the instruments or we put it in the 20% bleach. The patients and health personnel are appealing to government to support health care delivery in the area. Let's still stay on issues regarding healthcare in the country and high electricity costs coupled with a hostel fee for students on practicals are threatening the future of ophthalmic nursing school at Kolibu in Accra. The principal of the only specialist eye care nursing training school in Ghana, Stella Inchi Bosiako, told Peter Kwao Adato that the quality and standard ophthalmic nurses could be compromised if steps 